Okay, you guys of course know who I am. I'm John Doe. And I really hope that I know who you are too. Now I'm going to, in this video, try to talk about something that's quite difficult to discuss. And that is the issue of suicide here in Japan. Now, if you're not aware, Japan has one of the world's highest levels of suicide in all the world. It's pretty common here. And of course, that's related to the also extremely high level of social alienation that also goes on in Japan. So, as you live in Japan, you always know it's in the back of your head that possibly someone you know and someone you're close to might commit suicide. But you don't really expect it until you're actually affected by it. And very recently, someone I know and I'm close to, or was, committed suicide. And that was really not only shocking, but emotionally difficult. Because I was quite close to this person. He was very nice to me all the time, you know. He, Whenever I'd see him, you know, he'd always try to look out for me. He, he had an understanding of what it's like to be a foreigner in Japan. And how, you know, the isolation can be quite intense. So he always made an effort to include me. And whatever was going on, you know, it was generally just nice to me. And really had a um, feeling, a bond with me, because we both had similar backgrounds. We grew, both grew up kind of rough. And we both experience, had, had experienced some pretty harsh things in life. So we definitely understood each other a lot. So it was very shocking. Well, I got the news, you know, they had taken his own life. And it gave me a lot to think about. Not only personally, but just life in Japan. And because, you know, suicide is one of those issues in Japan that no one wants to talk about. Nobody wants to deal with it. Nobody wants to do anything about it. And due to the high level of social alienation here, it's really difficult for a lot of people to communicate openly and clearly with each other. So, it's really hard to tackle this issue in Japan. Really difficult. I believe there are some suicide hotline numbers people can call, but they're not promoted. And they're often extremely understaffed. There's also a few individuals who have taken up this issue and some, some of them will go to this very infamous area. It's called Suicide Forest. It's a, at the base of Mount Fuji. And it's where a lot of people go to do it. Very common. Very, unfortunately, popular place. Like I said, they call it Suicide Forest. And some individuals go out there and find these people out there. And reach out to them. Which is a very good thing. Because people who commit suicide are often very alone. And they're very isolated with themselves and their feelings. And they got nobody. In that moment of darkness, they have no one, if they feel they have no one they can reach out to. So what happens? They do this dark, dark act. It's permanent and they're gone from our lives. So will I ever fully understand why this person did it? No. I never will. And it will affect me the rest of my life and it's something I'll wonder about, of course, the rest of my life. But I want to give some advice. If you notice someone who's going dark, don't ignore it. Reach out, say something. 
But you don't know. A smile, a hug, walk around, talk a bit. That could save someone's life, literally. So don't be one of these people and say, ah, he's just depressed, fuck him. Nah. You know when someone's going really dark, you can tell. You know, it's, it's more than just someone feeling blue. It's more than someone just having a problem with depression. There's telltale signs for it. So you maybe want to do some research on it. Educate yourself and be on the lookout for this. And if you can, get involved in suicide prevention. You don't have to. But if you can, you have an opportunity to. You have the time. Volunteer. Get involved. Because for someone like me now, this is going to really hit me hard forever. This person's gone. They don't have to be gone. I mean, he was younger than me, man. Younger than me. Yeah, so that's my video on this one, okay? So until next time. You've been drinking. With a Marxist.